One of the most significant challenges in vaccine therapy has been to identify a marker that predicts response to treatment. So if you go back and look at the early trials done with peptide vaccines, what investigators found was that, yes, I can stimulate an immune response, I can generate T cells that recognize antigens, but the patients aren't benefiting clinically. And I actually think that's because we were enrolling patients on those early trials it was very diffuse metastatic disease, and the metastatic microenvironment is quite hostile. And so that was actually one of the reasons that my colleague, Dr. George Peoples, kind of made a paradigm change by bringing the vaccine into the adjuvant setting. Interestingly, in the adjuvant setting, data from our early trials looks like the generation of a specific T cell response does correlate with efficacy. So one critical component of that phase three trial we've been discussing is that we will be using blood-based assays to determine if we can generate these specific T cells and then with this you know, over 700 patient trial be able to correlate that with the clinical benefit. This will be a, a critical component of the vaccine to develop such a biomarker because an ultimate goal or aspiration of our group of course would be to make what is, we hope, an effective vaccine for secondary prevention into a strategy for primary prevention. And in order to do s the trials in that space, we would likely need to have an effective biomarker to use as an endpoint.